All right, Brian, let's take a look at what's slowing you down. I know we're going to see from the first screen that you have a very uh, long and, and a straight arm. You're pulling really deep into the water. You can see this right here. All right. Very long, very straight. And what we can tell is you're actually entering right here and you're pulling down on the water right here. So you're actually not really starting to pull pull back on the water till right here. All right, just just for just so we know, we really when you enter the water, you don't want to enter up here real high. You want to enter about this deep somewhere in here and you're going to want to make sure that wrist and your wrist looks pretty good on, on this picture gets down on the water then we're going to bend start bending that elbow right here and you should be pulling straight back so this elbow should be up in here and it should be high all right we want to we want to finish with a high elbow a very very high elbow we can see your body line here from this particular screen doesn't look as great as it should be. We really want here's here's the this water line and it could be the angle here because I know in some of the other other screens it looks pretty good. But this is because we're not getting the support we need out here. This is the reason that we are dropping and not being completely at the top of the water all right so we need to drive here drive out here get that get that um, wrist turned down to the bottom of the pool and, and pull straight back bending only the elbow just like that doggy doggy paddle drill we we worked on all right here we see we have a dropped elbow all right this is quite a dropped elbow here what we want at this position this hand should be entering the water and entering deep and this this at that point if we're right here this arm this elbow should look more like this okay so that way you're on top of the water and you're pulling with your lats right here you may be pulling with a little bit too much tricep again this is this is a position in which you just don't have the support that you need. Here's that body line. Great news is, we usually, typically, I see most swimmers, they have a real big knee right here, which is a big, which is a big problem to have. But you, you, uh, you actually are keeping your legs pretty tight there, and uh, and pretty have a probably a uh, have a kick that's not slowing you down too much. So that's that's. That's good news. All right, here we go. We're looking at that screen again. Uh, again, if your hand's entering here, all right, this arm still should be here. Okay, you need to be have a, a good catch here. So you're losing, you're falling back right here. When you don't have the support that you need, right up here up front, these legs have nothing else to do but go down, which is which is a problem. All right, and we just are not driving forward. And it looks like I can kind of see your hand here. So you, again, we want to remember that we want to enter with a very with a flat hand, and we want to drive straight forward. And I can also tell you that this arm right here, because of the way you're entering, you really sweep out wide like this. And you're entering, you're you're entering kind of you're crossing over real bad right here, and you can see this how it just you uh, your arm is here. All right, here's your shoulder. Let's see, here's your shoulder here. Okay, and so we want everything straightforward, and this arm is definitely crossing crossing over the midline. It's way out here in front of your eyes. All right, so that's a problem. We want to be out here wide, much wider, and we want to keep that arm wide. So this, if we can keep it wider, we can keep this elbow up. At no time should this elbow be dropped this low. 
that's uh that's 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 not good we'll take we'll take more of a look at it all right we got uh three different entries and catches over these next three screens here's one there's two and and there's three let's back that up one more time see if we can't get a good look at it all right there's one take a look here and the problem with having these three different three different catch, catches uh, is it it's it's inconsistency all right much inconsistency and this is your best one all right your your actual best catch you have you're in here in the water you're starting here you're gonna you're gonna be rolling up rolling to your side most of the time when you're swimming from what I see in these slides is you never actually get to streamline which is something that we need to work on uh, but this is your actually your best catch. Now this arm here, again, should be more like this, and it would be perfect. But you're not far off, other than this elbow here is dropped quite a bit. We want it. We really would like it quite a bit, a little bit higher, uh, probably up in this range. Okay, pulling. Okay, so if it's up in here and you're pulling, that you're pulling, getting that sweep down. You're gonna you're gonna be a little bit better on the uh, on the water, but this is your best from the entire video that I've watched. This is probably your best uh, your best catch, and you can tell in that your feet, your legs are up here, uh, uh, much better in the water. Okay, you you actually have a little bit of support here. Now your eyes are looking pretty far forward. Okay, and it's okay for for a triathlete. This isn't this isn't too bad, but remember, the more this head up is arching this spine, this spine right here, and by doing so, it's forcing our legs down. Okay, it's going to drop. So, if if you can, the more we can look at the to the bottom of the pool, all right, here, uh, the more those legs are going to, the more those legs are going to come up. All right, next screen. All right, here again. All right, you can really see this dropped elbow. It's not what we want. This hand is almost sideways in the water, so you're losing a lot of catch there. This arm is really splashing the water because you're coming in sideways instead of straight forward. We definitely, definitely want to come in straight forward. All right, here's here's a shot that the third one. And your 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 hand is completely underneath this body right here. We do not want it there. It should be way up here. It should be making this running this route out here, out to the side of your body at this point. All right. Here's your your arm here, and you know it should be up out here. Okay. This hand. Should it's I uh, can't see exactly what it's doing at top again, but from what we looked from the previous screen, you're slicing in. What's that going to cause? It's going to cause you all kinds of uh, ro rotational problems. All right, we want we want to make sure we clean that up. All right, you, you again you never get fully rotated, uh, and you start you pull down that water. All right, so we can see that you just don't get to streamline position. Okay. All right, you're gonna see what you're gonna see from this this hand is it started here, and it's just gonna take this path here all right really deep in the water this elbow is going to drop 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 we don't want that elbow to drop we want that elbow right when it when it hits about this deep here somewhere in there is where it should be spearing straight in and notice that this hand how it kind of coming up you're pushing on the water quite a bit and we'll see that in some more slides but we want it to spear in here get it down and get that elbow start that inward inward bend of that elbow and then as your body rotates through pull back with your lats okay pull back with your lats let's watch it through a few times 
see how you're pulling down on, on the water. There it goes. Pulling down on the water. One more time. Nice. Alright, so here, this little screenshot, no support, and here's this dropped elbow. Okay? Got it. It should be, you should be higher at this point. You really turn crooked and look at your, your head. Your ha hand's already entered the water, but you're still looking up here at the sky. That's a, that's a problem. Alright? We need that head back in the water. So this head stayed, uh, Stay taking that breath way way too long. You got to get that head back turned down this arm Should be here, okay, and your head should be straight down in the water All right, you got this dropped elbow uh, just like in the previous screens, you're sweeping beneath you and pushing against the water. Pushing. <coughs> All right. Pretty much the same picture. Other other direction. Crossing over real bad. Right here. Want to go straight in the water? You got this really dropped elbow here. You're sweeping up under you. We don't want that. We want this high elbow. Elbow should be almost to the surface of the water. That's how high that elbow, how high that elbow should be. So this this elbow, once you shoot it out here, it needs to stay high. Okay, it's going to be another video. We're just watching. Watch this hand. We'll back it up just a little bit. Watch his hand how it's pushing against the water. See that right there? Push, push, push. All right, pause it there. Make sure you know what I'm looking at here. This hand right here is pressing against the water. Okay? It's pressing against the water. It's slowing you down. This hand. This elbow needs to be, when you shoot in here, it should look more like this. Okay. All right, keeping the elbow higher than the wrist, wrist higher than the hand. If we do this right here, it's going to create that arch, and you're going to get a really good catch on the water here. Okay. And then you just turn that elbow in and pull back. Okay, so here, easy fix. You actually, from your from the top of the water, you see that you really focus on keeping that wrist down, and you come in and kind of spear into the water really nicely. But once you get into the water, that hand just turns up and you start pressing against the water. So that's a problem. We want to get it out here, get this support out here, and get this arm back up here into firing position just as quick as possible you never reach streamline in rotation all right right here so let's watch this uh, watch this through I believe it's gonna play through uh, a few times but you're gonna see that you're gonna start pulling down on the water and you just never get fully rotated to one side your head never really gets to the bottom of the water, and you won't be able to see that here. But you can see that you just don't get rotated. Just just short of really punching punching forward through the water. It's like you're always just staying back a little bit too far. I almost I feel like I just want to take your hand and pull you forward to get you into streamlined position here. Because we're just not getting rotated around. All right, there you are again, pushing against the water, okay, pushing against the water, that hand up, got up, that's, that's, this is a, just an automatic fix right here, your head, you're at this point here, you're pushing against the water, and look, your head, we got this sideward, uh, it's not down, all right, so you're just taking a hit right here in the water, hit here, 
hit here in the shoulder. You're not getting rotated around the streamlined position. And your head needs to be, your eyes need to be down, looking down here in the water. And obviously, here again, lots of triceps. At this, even at this point, and I know you're trying, you're finishing up your stroke here, but we don't want these triceps coming in, uh, coming into position. This, this, this elbow is tucked too much. It's dropped too much. All right, I, all the way to the very end, I'd like to see it rotated out this way. If you got that high elbow, then you're going to be pulling well. All right, pressing against the water, not getting hemp head down and you're just skipping streamline position here it is pulling down on the water again pulling down right there head good news is good news is Your head, your eyes look pretty good here in that you're looking, you know, down at the water, okay, down down towards the bottom of the pool. That's not bad. Uh, you, your head is probably a little bit deep, okay, on contact with the water. Here's the water line here, and it's making contact here. All right, so really at this point, and I think it's probably because you're bobbing and you're reaching so deep in the water that your head is, is completely almost almost submerged. Whereas if you were if if you had a high catch up here, you would you'd be making contact with the water up in up in here probably. Somewhere in there. That's a that's a bad arrow, but uh, it's you're a little bit I, I think you're a little bit deep in the water there. Not bad. Not bad, but seems a little bit, a little bit deep. Drop that elbow. That's where you're at. Don't want to be there. Want to be here. Okay, right there. That's that's a good curvature of the arm. That's where we want to be. Right there. Pulling down on the water. Right here you are. See that hand again. Just take a pause and take a look at it. Here's that right hand pressing against the water. Just every stroke. And your head, here it is. It's turned side. You're pressing down on the water. Here, just pressing, pressing, pressing. And your head's still out here. You've never got turned, turned around. you got that head in the water. Got to get that head down. Right, let's watch it through. And yeah, I know you're using that arm for. You feel like you're using that arm for support, but when your when your head's out the water, you have to leave that arm out here. Okay, that head's out the water until you get this other arm up here into firing position. You are. You should not be bending this elbow. All right, so you should be straight lined here up until you get to firing position. I right, just don't have any support here, okay? Don't have a support arm. Got to get it, you know, got to get that support arm out here. Needs to be out wide. Got to be catching that water. Get this head down into the water. Get this ar ar arm driven down into the water. All right, just kind of showing you right here how much you're pulling down on the water. I sweep and wide, get in the fire position, prep to pull the trigger. Okay, right here. Uh, you're going to see this a few times and watch this path uh, that, that you're taking. You're really kind of sweeping in here like this. That's not where we want to be. We want this hand, hand to get up here in the firing position and we want all momentum straight forward out in front of this shoulder right here all right so this is where you, you kind of skip skip the uh, streamlined position 
you got to get this body rotated over, driven straight forward out this shoulder, and get into firing position and get this other arm back to firing position. So this arm needs to be in firing position. And at this point, at firing position, this arm should be straight out in front of the straight out in front of the shoulder, holding ground. Then once you start to fire, that's where your bend and pull begins. All right. So that and that that's the ultimate, you know, to get get the support that you need out front. Let's watch how that arm swings. All right, and there it is. Okay, so here's uh, uh, on top of the water shot of you. You're swing, swinging out wide. You need to get here, get that arm here ready to fire straight down into the water. We want that hand to go from here straight into the water here, not like it was in the previous screen. And notice out here, we just don't have any support. Where should this arm be? All right, that arm should be here at this point okay it should still be out there getting ready to fire in but it's not it's it's down here really dropped in the water crossing underneath your body alright we just don't don't have any support in the water very little support in the water your head is really turned up here looking towards the sky but if we fix all these all these other little problems you're gonna you're gonna find that little little spot and you're not gonna have to turn your head near as much All right, what do we have here? You can really see this cross over here. All right, this arm should be just straight out in front of you here. Okay, you can see how much it's throwing your body out of a line here. See this line here? Okay, these are big problems. So we are very, very crooked here this should be all lined up and the whole reason for it is this crossover this causing if you if you're str straight out here and you get this arm back up it's going to square all this up much better okay but here's the deal you're already starting to pull down on the water you didn't get into streamline position so at this point you should be out here getting this arm pulled out and getting back into firing position so you should be you should be turned more on your side a lot more on your side at, at this uh, at this position right here and getting that shoulder up out the water but this arm is doing that right there and it's causing big problems for you so we got to you need to we got to work on on that streamline drill doing a lot of the uh, streamline drills and uh, doggy paddle those type of things All right. Hopefully in uh, four, five, six weeks, I'll be able to catch catch up with you again and and, and get another video video of you.